Hi, this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast, where CEOs, COOs, and business owners share strategies for better success. This is six questions in nine minutes because the best strategies are concise business advice. And so we're going to get to it with our guest today. So question number one, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, thanks, Keith. I am Chris Romer. I am the president and CEO of Vail Valley Partnership. We are the Regional Chamber of Commerce and Economic Development Corporation here in Eagle County, Colorado, home to Vail and Beaver Creek. And we are a two-time Chamber of Commerce of the Year winner. And I've been named a top 25 mind in hospitality sales and marketing. So we have a, a, good, a good broad background here of business service support. Had great success. And obviously, you know businesses, you work with businesses all the time. And uh, also just a beautiful area to vacation and stuff. So we greatly appreciate you being on and we look forward to hearing some of your insights. So question number two, what's the best thing about being a business leader? It's, it's quite an honor to be identified as a community leader and a business leader. I think the very best thing about it is being able to build a strong and more resilient community. Business leaders have a unique opportunity to help others. And by helping others, they're able to help grow their business and grow their brand in a, in a way that is authentic to them, but it's done through building a more resilient community. And in our role at the Chamber of Commerce and as an economic development corp, we're really fortunate to be uniquely positioned to help industries across sector, help businesses across geographies. Uh, but most importantly, my volunteer board, consisting of other business leaders, are able to give back to their community and I think that's a, a theme we'll probably explore quite a bit today. But the, the best thing about being a business leader is being able to build a more resilient community and being able to help people along the way. Which is even more important with uh, the way the, the economy is going and with what's going on out in the world and stuff to have a strong economy, but also a strong community and, and uh, business community in particular is a great thing, so. Yeah, so those two things are, those two things are exactly connected. You can't have one without yes. the other. And again, we'll talk about that theme as we move on. All right. Question number three. I hear from other business leaders that their people strategy in their business is often more time consuming and complicated, if you will, than their actual business strategy in their business. Your thoughts? Yeah, I, I think this is a, a fascinating framework and, and way to think about business and to think about strategy. I would opine that your people strategy needs to be your business strategy because without people, there's no way to achieve your business goals. It's said another way, your business goals are achieved through your people. So if you don't focus on your people strategy, it's going to be much, much harder to achieve your business strategies. It's almost impossible for an organization or a business to achieve their business goals if they don't first focus on the, the people strategy. Very well said. I, I really liked your comments there. All right, question number four. What strategy would you like to share with other business leaders today? Yeah, and, and this one is such a, a, a rabbit's hole of great information, and it gets me really excited to, to talk about uh, this with the idea of, of, number one, I like to share some of our stories and some of our successes. But more importantly, I, I have the ability to work with over 900 businesses here in Eagle County. I'm involved in a number of, of state and national associations getting to help businesses and association groups and chambers of commerce. And the one consistent, the one consistent thing that I see from nonprofits to business to government to special districts across the board is that community engagement is the key to success. There are very few successful businesses and successful business people that have achieved great things for, their, for themselves or for their company or for their communities without having a deep level of community engagement and community commitment. That can be volunteering, that can be giving back to your chamber of commerce organization, that can be volunteering at your children's school. But when you look around, 
and you look at the, the organizations and the, and the people that are the most successful, the chances are they give back. They give in order to get. And being involved in community and really being involved in something bigger than yourself, it grows your brand awareness, it grows your net promoter score. All of the metrics that you look at in business are driven oftentimes by people strategy as we talked about in the earlier question, but how do you attract great people? Is you're out in the community, you're involved in your community. People look to your organization as an employer of choice and you can't do those things if you spend all of your time in the boardroom. If you spend all of your time behind a computer, you need to be, as business leaders, you need to be involved in your community, be it Rotary or church or schools. Whatever it is, it can be business groups, it can be civic groups, it can be service organizations. But when I look here at our landscape, um, and if you were to, to pull uh, 100 business leaders across the board of who are the, who are the people you admire the most? It's people who are involved in community. And you look at the business leaders that people look towards on a national level, um, they're people who are involved in their community. And I really, truly just see it again and again that community engagement is the key to success. Um, it's, not, it's not who has the shiniest advertising campaign and who has the newest brand launch. Um, you need to take good care of your customers and you need to have good marketing campaigns, of course, but it really comes down to building your organization as a, a trusted resource in your community within your target market. And that happens through giving back and being involved in industry associations, et cetera. So that community engagement piece is so key. And it makes me think of things like Simon Sinek um, and his most recent book, the, the Infinite Game, where the whole thesis of that is that the world is not a zero sum game. The, the idea of the game is to keep playing the game. You know, there's not, there's not an end target to this. You grow the pie. And you can only do that by strengthening community and by strengthening your industry by giving back. So that's, that's I apologize, I, I went on a little bit there, but I, I, get, I really get fired up about this because I see it again and again that it's really the key to, to so many um, business success stories is people who grow their business because they do a good job, of course, but there's lots of people who do a good job who don't make it and who, who survive instead of thrive. And the, the way to thrive is to be involved and to help your community and to help your industry. Well, and I love the passion that you have about it. And, you know, it really goes from what I hear to the idea that, you know, are you looking at the short-term gain? You're, you're building a, a company for, a, you know, a year or two, or are you building a company that's going to last? And you really have to be involved in your community and whatever that community, however you define that. But to really last, you have to be securely involved, giving back to that community. So great Absolutely. answer. Great passion. Love it. So, yeah, thank you. So question number five, what other successful business leaders, CEOs like yourself, would you like to acknowledge here or you think would be good on this podcast? Yeah, I, and there's so many that come to mind. And I think of, I think of some of my previous um, board chairs at the chamber. I think of other people that I've, I've reported to over the years. Um, and there's, there's just, a, a, again, that theme of, of community engagement, that theme of giving back. I think of um, someone by the name of, of Glenn Davis, who's a regional bank president, um, who has served on our community college board. He's served on the chamber board. He's been involved in many other nonprofit organizations um, and does a great job running a community banking system at the same time. I think of community college, um, our community college president and CEO who oversees a, a very large system across numerous different counties and, and communities here in Colorado, Dr. Carrie Hauser. And she's one again, who has just this dynamic organization doing great things and servicing needs in their community. And, and they're, they're some of the names that, that spring to mind. And again, it's tied to that last question because I really truly believe the very best business leaders and the very best organizational leaders 
are the ones who are thinking beyond the boundaries of their business and really trying to build a stronger business infrastructure for their industry or their community. Very well said. All right, well, we are out of time, but real quick, just a final six question, kind of a fun question. Tell me about your favorite past boss. Yeah, I think I, I mentioned his name a little bit earlier, but um, a gentleman by the name of, of Glenn Davis with Alpine Banks of Colorado. And um, again, that community, but also integrity and, and empathy. I think all good leaders need to have a, um, a firm grounding in community, integrity, and empathy. And that doesn't mean you need to be a pushover, but it means you need to think about others and you need to be caring and compassionate while you, while you push and drive. Very good. Very true. It has been such a joy having you on today. Before we leave, can you tell people how they can get a hold of you or maybe reach out to you? Yeah, our website is valevalleypartnership.com, valevalleypartnership.com. And on our staff page, my phone number, my email, my Twitter handle, my um, LinkedIn, it's all available from there. You can find me on those social channels as well, but valevalleypartnership.com. Great. And again, thank you so much for your time. And this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast. And for more insights and to follow us, you can follow us at Weaver Business Coaching on LinkedIn, or you can listen to it on your favorite podcast platform. And we wish you the best success.